How to perform Uddiyana Bandha. Uddiyana Bandha is a Hatha Yoga purification technique. It's one of the less obvious ones because we tend to think of Hatha Yoga purification techniques as things like neti, where you put water to your nose, uh, and also other techniques uh, of purification. Uh, water therapy is a form of purification, for example. But Uddiyana Bandha is also another purification technique, although it seems a little, a little unusual. Basically, in Uddiyana Bandha, you are going to suck your abdomen in towards your spine while lifting up your diaphragm. Uddiyana actually means flying upwards. So, to get an idea of how to do Uddiyana Bandha, you're basically going to put your hands on your thighs and you're going to breathe out. And after you breathe out, you're going to suck in your abdomen towards your spinal cord. Imagine as if there is a cord or a string attached between your navel and your spinal cord and suck in your abdomen towards your spinal cord whilst, while pulling up your diaphragm. And then you're going to hold it for a second or so and then let it go. And holding it is basically the banda. So why should you perform Uddiyana Banda? Well, Uddiyana Banda has amazing benefits, which include improved digestion, detoxification of the intestines, purification of the blood, improved health of the stomach and intestines, improved function of the adrenal glands, improved function of the liver, improved functioning of the pancreas, improved blood circulation throughout the entire body, and also improved subtle energy within the body. So it's an amazing exercise and the logic behind it is quite simple. Where there is blood, there is health because the blood takes away the toxins from the cells and puts fresh oxygen into the cells. So when we squeeze in the abdominal muscles, it massages all the muscles and organs of the center part of the body. Also, in particular, when we massage the stomach and the intestines, uh, it helps to assimilate food better and has all those energizing uh, effects which go along with that. And of course, it puts blood into the pancreas and, um, and the liver and the kidneys and basically it's very, very healthy. It's also incredibly simple to perform. And also on a uh, subtle energetic level, uh, Uddiyana Banda boosts the energy, the subtle energies of the body. So a yoga Banda is basically where you, you put a yoga hold and it has that energizing effect on the body. So when we pull the stomach in and we hold it for a second, it has an energy boosting effect. Uh, a subtle pranic energy effect, or we might also call it chi energy effect. Um, the effects of Uddiyana Banda are really quite substantial. Uh, there's a famous uh, yoga book called Hatha Yoga by a chap called Tios Bernard. Uh, his photo is here in the um, is also on this presentation, and uh, he notes just how important it is to uh, do this exercise for overall uh, health and well-being. He was a great respondent of, of, of this way of, of training. He makes the point as follows. Here's the technique. Stand with the feet apart and the hands on the bent legs in a semi-squatting position. Make the posture comfortable and then empty the lungs. With the breath out, forcibly contract the abdominal muscles, raining the viscera until a large expression is made under the diaphragm. He notes that you should be able to put the two fists in the, that space under the diaphragm. Now, this might be where you start scratching your head, but do remember that sucking in the abdomen in a very extreme way is something you'll see in an, 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 an advanced yoga. You don't have to be so good. What you have to do is have a good effort at sucking in your abdomen as best you can. I think the best way to visualize it or to think about it is 
uh, to see a cord attached to your navel and as if you're pulling a cord from your spine putting your navel back towards your spine or as close to your spine as you can while shifting your diaphragm upwards which means your ribcage go upwards as well so ideally you breathe out then you suck in and then you let go whilst without taking another breath you do it again so ideally you work up to 10 times so sort of like one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten but don't worry if you can't do that for us most people can't most people will get breathless while doing it and basically because the stomach muscles are too weak it will take them time so even if you just start off at two or three times and slowly build up so one in out two in out three in out sucking the abdomen in towards the spine hold for a fraction of a second and let it out so basically you suck the abdomen wall the navel in towards the spine give it a good squeeze and then let it go pull it back in good squeeze and let it go back in pull good squeeze and let it go so when you do this once it's called a round so ideally you should do 10 times that's one round and then you should do several rounds and according to T.S. Bernard in his book it is quite a famous book which has a lot of great quotations from ancient uh, yogic text uh, he suggests starting with maybe a hundred and building up to like a thousand or more uh, repetitions per day which would be maybe uh, like a hundred rounds per day now that's extreme that's really for somebody who's an advanced yogi but for an ordinary person who simply wants the benefits of improved digestion um, a tighter midsection it will make your midsection tighter uh, but improved digestion improve, improve blood flow to the organs of the body <clears throat> perhaps a reduction in such things as uh, blood sugar levels um, and general well-being and health uh, you know just do it even two or three times that's one round and then do two or three and then repeat this pro two or three times a day so here's what I recommend what I recommend is get up in the morning and do two or three rounds that two or three repetitions that's one round and then do that three times then in the afternoon again two or three repetitions and then uh, do three rounds and again in the evening before going to sleep two or three repetitions and then do three rounds and then each week add one repetition so very slowly your abdomen muscles will get stronger and it will increase and keep doing that until you can eventually do uh, 10 reps one round three times and then, and then do this three times daily so it's a total of 90 repetitions per day this will be far lower than the goal set by T.S. Bernard or many uh, Hatha Yogi aspirants but it's enough for an ordinary human being to gain a benefit from uh, Uddiyana uh, Banda the other thing with Uddiyana Banda is that if you are maybe your stomach muscles are very weak or perhaps you're obese uh, it can be hard to pull your stomach in and there's a couple of variations you can try one simple one is basically a variation on the uh, Hatha Yoga Asana called uh, Matsanyana which is the fish pose now in the fish pose you have your legs crossed and you lie back and then you actually put your crown of your head on the floor and you pull right back but that's difficult but a very simple version is simply to do a half fish pose whereby you cross your legs and you lie back down uh, and you just rest your head normally now the interesting thing is when you do this your stomach muscles will automatically suck in anyway and even if you're obese or your stomach muscles are, are weak uh, it will work fine so again you can do the, the Udiana from that position and the other one which is um, a little harder to do but it has huge benefits uh, is to sit on all fours because when you sit on all fours although it's a bit more difficult uh, you can also suck in your anus at the same time and that creates an anal banda now you might say what's the benefit of sucking in your anus well an anal banda creates a, a, a subtle energy um, loop within your body according to um, Taoist yoga now when you do that your stomach will suck in uh, your anus was if you then pull your anus in it has an energizing effect 
and quite naturally you'll usually feel your epiglottis sucking in as well so you got three bandas you've got the uh, stomach banda the anal banda and the uh, epiglottis uh, also locking and creating a banda momentarily and this is a huge pranic energy boosting effect or chi energy boosting effect for the body and this is the subtle energy now the physical act of pulling your stomach muscles in will give the benefit of improved digestion it will get rid of constipation and diarrhea it will energize you it will have a unifying effect it might even help your diabetes um, but the banda is the thing that will give you the subtle energy and you might say why bother with subtle energy well subtle energy is a thing which will make you more youthful and more vital in everyday life so there are a few variations you can try probably the easiest one to do is to try the half fish pose and the next one and perhaps the most efficient one from the point of view of energy is the the uh, Udiana Banda variation on all fours and of course the regular Udiana Banda is very good particularly if you have strong muscles or you're not carrying much excess fat around the stomach and again just do it small at first maybe start at two or three reps uh, do maybe three rounds of those three reps and do that three times a day and then build up to ten reps and then do three rounds of those ten reps three times a day if you do this this is a fantastic exercise to boost your overall health and well-being it will also make your core muscles strong it will make your stomach muscles strong it will boost your immunity and your digestion and will give you a huge energy boost and will actually make you feel younger and even look younger it's an amazing exercise it's a very simple exercise that anybody can perform at least one of these variations i strongly recommend that you try it uh, I myself am not a big fan of doing very difficult Hatha Yoga post postures, but I do think this is a vital one because it strengthens the midsection part of the body, the part of the body where the organs are, are all hanging out as it were. It, anything that boosts the stomach and intestines and boosts blood flow to that area is amazingly beneficial for your health. So. Uh, that's why I'm recommending it here, Udiana Bandi, you might never have heard of it, but it's a very simple exercise and it's a very profoundly powerful exercise if you're consistent with it and you slowly build up your frequency, uh, your repetitions over a period of time. Okay, hope that helps. Give it a go and uh, let me know how you get on. Uh, have a nice day.